Kia ora, boys and girls. I want to read you a great story. It's called The Kiwi That Was Scared of the Dark. I don't know about you, but sometimes I get scared of the dark. Written by Bob Derrick. The little kiwi looked out from the entrance of his burrow for the first time he saw the outside world. But he didn't like it very much. It was dark. Come on, said his mother. Let's go for a walk. He followed behind her. There's mum leading the way, looking fearful from one dark side to the other. From the darkness came scratching noises and clicks and rustling. What was that? He whispered loudly to his mother. Don't be scared, she said. It's just insects having their breakfast. See? The little kiwi looked and saw the insects were small there and too busy eating to take much notice of them. Hello, one of them said through a mouthful of leaf. Oh, hello, kiwi replied, not quite as frightened as he had been before. But suddenly fear came back. A chorus of rattly croaking noises came from a swamp area nearby. Then something small leapt out of the darkness and landed close by. What was that? The little kiwi cried. That's a frog. See him up there? The frog hopped closer. Hello, he croaked. I haven't seen you before. I hope you like it here. The little kiwi said, Hello, thank you. But before he could say any more, the frog leapt back into the wet place. Perhaps it was just as well that the frog didn't wait for an answer because the little kiwi didn't know if he liked it there. He didn't like the dark very much. In fact, he was scared of it, especially when an eerie hoot hoot noise echoed through the trees. It's just a more pork, said his mum. See up there on the tree, the little one about your age. Hello, everyone called out together. I'm a bit bigger, the little moorpork cried out. I'll, when I'm a little bit bigger, cried the moorpork, I'll come and play. That'd be good, said the little kiwi. He was a bit worried about playing with someone who made a scary noise like a moorpork did. Moorpork's an owl. But a noise followed. Boom, boom. A deep booming noise shook the leaves. What was that? Oh, that's old Kakapo, said his mother. Come, we'll see him. And she led the way. Little Kiwi didn't want to go anywhere near that noise, but he didn't want to be left behind in the dark either. So he followed close behind. There's more porks making a big boom noise. Hello, said a small round shape that came up from a clump of ferns. Ferns, sorry about the noise. My dad likes to kick up a din every now and then. I'll go and tell him to turn it down. See you later. And he scurried off. The kiwi was relieved that little moorpork was friendly. He came from a noisy family, but he was friendly. Well, this kiwi was starting to get a little less frightened of the dark when he saw two pairs of eyes shining up ahead. Then came a terrific gurgling, coughing, rattling noise. What's that, he says. He got close to his mum's leg. Sorry, said a voice from the dark. And a furry animal with a big tail and shiny eyes came out. This is possum, said Mother Kiwi. Hello, said a small voice from the possum's pouch. Mum was growling. She thought someone was going to take some fruit from our tree, said Little Possum. That's okay, Sam and the Little Kiwi. That wasn't really okay. He was still trembling from the fright he'd had. I'll make sure it's not you before I do it again next time, said Mother Possum. Thank you, said the Little Kiwi. But he thought there won't be a next time, not in the dark anyway. The night was too scary. He'd go from walks in the daytime from now on. When they got back to their kiwi burrow just before daybreak and nestled down, they slept the rest of the day. The little kiwi was so tired of such a nerve-wracking night, but he woke early when the sun was still shining and thought, this is a better time to go walking. 
So he trotted off into the sunshine. It was a bit bright for his eyes, even in the bush. But at least the scary darkness had gone. Down to the frog patch he scurried. It was all silent. He couldn't see or hear the frog anywhere. Even the insects seemed to have gone away. It all felt a bit lonely. So he found the clump of ferns where the kakapo had been booming. And he saw a little kakapo tucked up with his dad, fast asleep. Hello, whispered little Kiwi. Want to come and play? <coughs> Kakabo tried to say, but it's still daytime. I can't go out until dark. He rolled over and went back to sleep. Little Kiwi felt even more lonely. He found Possum Wab on Tree and Morpork too. But they were sound asleep and didn't even move when little Kiwi called out. Poor little Kiwi, he felt very lonely, there is. In fact, the silent bush was suddenly even more scary than the night. He hurried home and nestled in beside Mum again. After their sleep, they go for another walk and see everyone again, in the dark. Perhaps the dark wasn't so bad after all. That's little Kiwi, he's a nocturnal little bird. That means he goes out at night time, goes exploring. But you know, the dark isn't that scary, really. The dark's just different from the light. There's all sorts of imagery about darkness and light and how they depend on and are in relation to each other. And of course, it's easy not to be scared when you've got somebody like the little Kiwi had with his mum being with him. We often need a friend, a parent, sometimes a grandparent, to help us when we're frightened of things, help us get round obstacles and see things differently. Well, have a lovely week, and we'll see you next week. Bye.